Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Technical Forum of Hydrogen and Fuel Cells Europe. We have a lot of interesting presentations of the news technology, and I'd like to invite the business development manager of for hydrogen of SFC Energy to the stage. He will talk about EFOI hydrogen energy solution for mobile and stationary application. Stefan Leisner. Hello, good afternoon. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for attending. A great pleasure to be here today, to see all of you over here again live and not digital. And um, yeah, my topic of today will be e for hydrogen fuel cells uh, or solutions for stationary and mobile applications. Short overview, who are we? What are we doing? Uh, companies SFC Energy on, on the market since over 20 years now. So a bit of a dinosaur in the fuel cell technology. And we are more or less doing the complete value chain from stack development to uh, complete solutions at the end. We have uh, our headquarter in Munich or close to Munich in Bruntal. And I mean, the most important number over here is, from my point of view, not the revenue, but uh, 55,000 fuel cells sold so far all over the world in the past 15 years. So we are a commercial company providing fuel cells and fuel cell solutions all around the world. And all around the world means like from northern Canada down to um, New Zealand. So it's really basically all around the world. Um, our system portfolio has two different kind of technologies. So on the one hand side, our origin is the direct methanol fuel cell, which is a pretty small and uh, yeah, pretty simple system using methanol as a fuel. And our background over here was that we come from the caravan business. So the caravan, the camper, they wanted to have power on the camper to provide uh, laptops or mobile phones or to see television in the evening. And that's where we actually come from. And by time we did extend our portfolio, we did see there's a lot of potential for applications. And nowadays we provide systems from 100 watts or 10 watts up to 50 kilowatts. So um, on the one hand side, we have methanol as a fuel, as a technology, but there's a shift in between like, a, I would say, a load demand at the customer of half kilowatt to one kilowatt, where we then use hydrogen fuel cells. And this will be majorly the focus of today. Our 2.5 kilowatt E4 hydrogen fuel cell module. This is like a, a pretty easy, simple system, an air-cooled fuel cell, PEM, low temperature, working on the one hand side, of course, with hydrogen. On the other side, we have oxygen from the air. And we use this products for the, the direction itself, providing power. On the other, other hand side, we have waste heat and water vapor as a product. So um, of course, major topic over here is clean energy. Of course, it's always depending where the hydrogen has come from. So if you have gray hydrogen, of course, the, the, the CO2 emissions are maybe produced before that. So um, that's one thing to address, definitely. On the other side, if you have green hydrogen, this completely chain is completely emission free. And that's um, one of the major topics over here. Proven technology, the fuel cells are already in the market, they're already in the field, operating as backup power system majorly um, for telecommunication, for Tetra networks, for um, telecommunication to be operative when there is a, a disaster or a shutdown. Another important topic, of course, is low maintenance. So um, we always compare our system with diesel generators, which are heavily in maintenance, which have maybe lower investment costs. But the main topic over here where we see that the fuel cell is interesting, especially for backup systems, but also for mobile systems, is that it's actually majorly maintenance free. So there's no service required there. As long as you have hydrogen, you keep on operating. And that's, that's the, the sweet spot over here. And of course, you can cluster them for higher power applications. So if you say you need more than 2.5 kilowatt, we can scale it up to 50 kilowatts. Applications where we see the fuel cells. 
as mentioned before, the UPS, like the backup power system, which is a huge market nowadays, a lot of uncertainties. The, the shift from fossil energy to renewables, the, the grid can detect it, and the crisis in Ukraine. Um, and everyone sees it in the news every day. There's like a lot of uncertainties in the market, in the fields. And um, there's more and more demand on backup power. So we see the fuel cell is one of the the best fit over here for such a system, especially when it comes to higher power outputs. Um, what we also do is, of course, solar hybrid systems, solar domain power, one of the best energy sources we have on the, on the planet. Um, but if there's a lack of power available in winter, I mean, look, you know, you know the German winter uh, can be strong, can be long. The fuse is a backup for those applications. And last but not least, something we address nowadays with the mobile system, which is actually outside over here. Uh, the H2 genset is um, mobile and temporary power. So our approach majorly is to provide solutions, not components. So we are actually seeking out to end customers, to power utility companies, to telecommunication providers, everyone who needs power to construction site operators who need power and who want to have emission-free power. And that's uh, what we try to do is to provide standard products, and that's something very important to reduce the prices at the end for the customers. So I did, uh, by myself, I did add a little animation over here. Here we go. Um, so we have different kind of solution for different kind of applications. We have hydrogen fuel cell solutions for indoor, with indoor rack, where the hydrogen is stored outside. We have complete outdoor systems, which are completely designed to be placed on a uh, on telecom tower on the outside and also be um, have a resistance class for intruders, for example. And the latest product we are bringing onto the market with our partners is the H2 Genset, which is actually a mobile system, including fuel cells, battery, inverters, but also a tank. So it's a complete system which can be placed outside, can be operated without an external tank, but also can be refilled and uh, by a gas station or can be extended by hydrogen bundles, for example. And there, we see there's a pretty high demand because there's a lot of projects going on, a lot of emission reduction projects going on. Best example is here, um, Amsterdam from the Netherlands, for example, they, do, they will ban diesel generators from the city and not in 2050, but around 2024, which is actually in two years. So um, as you know, or as you see all around the places, there are diesel generators running in every kind of application. If it's events, if it's construction sites, if it is something which is just off-grid, um, they will be replaced, or they have to be replaced one day because they're not allowed to be used anymore. And Amsterdam is one of the pioneers over here, but there's like in, uh, in Europe, I think a program of 25 or even 50 cities who have these zero emission goals in 2025. So Amsterdam is first, but there are Oslo does follow, Munich does follow. So a lot of cities will ban emissions which are produced by the generators themselves. And I think that's an interesting and very huge market over here where the fuel cell can bring a benefit. And the idea is to make this, um, this fuel cell application as easy as possible for the customer. Because what we see, there's still, maybe not over here, but in an in everyday ap application, there's still obstacles like hydrogen, like how can we use it, how can we store it, can I, how can it be provided, who can be the supplier, is it available, what are the costs? I mean, like, there are a lot of open topics, and we try to make it as easy as possible to just put this generator into the field, leave it on the construction site, let them test it, let them feel it, let them try it, and then go further if it does fit them. And that's the major approach. And um, as mentioned, we have a first demonstrator which, will, uh, which is shown around Europe nowadays, which is on a beer stall on the outside. This is uh, not placed by me over there, but uh, a pretty nice example how to also power some applications like this. And um, yeah, 